Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you the size comparison for the iPhone 6 Plus. I actually do not have an iPhone 6, but I do have the 6 Plus, as you can see here. This is in silver, 64 gigabyte, and it is one very large phone, but in my hands, it really doesn't look too big. So let me show you some of the iPhones from the past and some current Android phones to kind of give you an idea of exactly how big this phone is or isn't. So you can see this is the iPhone 6, like I said, Let's bring in the iPhone 1. This is iPhone 1. As you can see, it's almost like they took the iPhone 1, made the back out of complete aluminum and squished it down, and we have the 6 Plus. So iPhone 1, iPhone 3G, same size. Then we went to the iPhone 4 style. Again, not really much different as far as that goes, same screen sizes. Then the iPhone 5S. You can see this is a little bit bigger. Now the iPhone 6, I did have a chance to play with it a little bit. It is a little bit bigger. To give you a size comparison, if we put these together, it's probably out to not even as big as the whole black screen. So it's, it's a really good size. Now that's pretty big, but let me show you other large phones to give you an idea. So this is a 4.7 inch display. This is a Moto X. So this gives you an idea. This is more along the size of the iPhone 6. And then moving up, we'll go to the Galaxy Note 3. So let's put this side by side, move these out of the way. Galaxy Note 3 and then the OnePlus One. So you get a good idea how big this phone really is. Now the iPhone 6 Plus is thinner than all of these phones. And this sticks up actually the iPhone 6 Plus is much thinner than the Galaxy Note. If you look on the side here, it's significantly thinner. Instead of having this back piece, it's actually about the size of the plastic side piece. And then to compare it with the OnePlus One, you can see different profiles, but the OnePlus One isn't too much thicker, but it is thicker. Maybe you can see it better on top. So this is a pretty large phone. And for those of you that like large phones, that's not a problem. But for some of you, this is going to be way too large. And then when you add a case onto it, it gets a little bit bigger. So I've been using the iPhone 5 leather case. And if we pop this on here, so this is how most of you are probably going to use the iPhone. You'll see this is, and you kind of have to slide it into the top of the case almost. There we go. And you'll see this is a good size case. It's really large and adds very little as far as the thickness, as you can see here, but it does make it that much bigger. So if you're going from an iPhone 5, obviously you're going to have a significant size difference. And I have large hands, so that's why I wanted to show you, like I said before, the difference. This is just a massive phone. It's slightly taller than a Galaxy Note 3, but slightly narrower. So that's a good size idea, I hope, and maybe it'll uh, give you a good idea of how big it is. For those of you that don't have phones yet, uh, maybe uh, something along the lines of an Apple mouse might be a good, good size comparison. You can see good size there. It is just a massive phone. So it's really meant to be used two handed, I think. And you can see they've changed the, the layout a little bit for when you're rotated to landscape. So really nice phone, but it's huge. So keep that in mind. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to be getting the six or the six plus, or maybe you're going to be switching to Android or going with windows phone. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.